All right, Tracy Sprower is here. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. And uh, you're here on behalf of Meadow at Home. Well, we're going to talk about uh, Silver Nest today. And when this came across my radar screen the first time, I thought, I don't remember anything that was such a win-win sort of a situation. And uh, I mean, I'll just explain my understanding of it, but fill me in afterwards. Basically, putting two people together, one who has a home and is maybe older or just in need or wants some companionship, but has some space. And we all know how we have such a housing shortage. Yeah. There's a lot of people who can't figure out where to live. It puts those two together. And I thought, oh, how freaking brilliant is that? I know it really is. Yeah, we've been excited about this concept for a long time. Deirdre learned about it at a Village to Village national conference, Uh you know, quite a few years ago, but we just haven't necessarily had the capacity to partner with Silver Nest. It's an online platform, totally secure and safe. Like you say, they've worked out a lot of these bugs through the years and people go on there and you can create a profile for free. Uh, whether you're a home seeker or a host home, potential uh-huh. host home. And then, you know, you go onto the Silver Nest platform yeah. and you can view both sides of things. And, oh, cool. And then it will create a little share score. You know, a lot of it is part of our culture. Here we are. We're like strong yeah. and independent people. Yeah. We're doing our thing. Yeah. We got our homestead and yeah. we can do it all. It's a meta tradition. It is. Yeah. And you know what? Many hands make lighter work. And not only that, it's fun. Yes. It's more fun to do things together. And yeah. I think we're social creatures. That's how human beings have actually evolutionarily survived. <laughs> yeah. Was yes. by cooperation and yeah. through collaboration. So I'm guessing also that even though this is just starting, and by the way, folks, there's going to be a Zoom meeting where anybody who is interested can check it all out. But we're kind of exploring the reasons why you might be interested. My guess is that there's two sides to this equation. It's probably pretty clear to anybody who has a need for housing, they need they need it. Right. But do we need help or not? That's that's kind of the wrestling match that's happening in people's heads. Right. Or it may not even be that kind of an arrangement. I mean, that's the great mm. thing with this is it's very, very flexible. Maybe you just... You know, there's just want a roommate. Yeah. Or maybe it's a financial situation or maybe you have a little ADU that you can rent out or Mm -hmm. little apartment, separate apartment, (laughs) you know, your mother-in-law house, you know, your little caretaker's cabin on your place, right? Mm -hmm. A little separate. Maybe you have something like that. You can use Silver Nest to, to securely look for somebody in that way too. It doesn't have to always Mm -hmm. be sort of a have that work trade component, but yeah. that's what you would work out, you know, yeah, yeah. and you would put that straight up on the profile of yeah. like, I'm willing to trade, you know, for part work for rent or that kind well, of thing. You- I think that there are people who want to be a part of the solution in the housing crisis. That's, that's mm-hmm. one motivation, you know, like I said, yeah. maybe, maybe you need some help, some, mm-hmm. it's always nice to, to share share the burden of, oh, yeah. you know, coming up with absolutely everything on your own and, and by renting a room out and that, that might be the arrangement and yeah. you're not necessarily looking for companionship or maybe you are, maybe mm-hmm. you do want more companionship in your yeah. life. And especially after COVID-19, people have really slid into a deeper isolation and, and it's, you know, it's hard yeah. to even to gauge the effect that that's had on our on our health and all kinds of different things. Yeah, I, you know, we'll probably find out in the future how bad it was, but I was surprised how lonely I got. I know, yeah. And yeah. then also the help piece is huge, mm-hmm. right? Especially mm-hmm. in a winter like this. Yeah. yeah. So if someone is just, yeah, curious, okay, what is involved with signing up for Silver Nest? Like yeah. you said, we're going to be having a Zoom program with Amy Ford of Silver Nest. Okay. She used to be working for the National Council on Aging and is now <clears throat> one of the marketing outreach directors there in cool. in the company. And she'll be facilitating um, a one-hour Zoom. That's February 8th from 8 to 9 a.m. And folks can sign up um, by just going on to the Met How at Home website and you'll see the events on the side, and you just click on that, follow the directions, and if 
you know, anybody ever has any issues or needs some help, you can always give us a call. Cool. Way to bring it on home like that. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a little blurb about the background of the project because I really do want to include Jamie's Place. How this campaign has got started. Yeah, do that. Like I said, Silver Nest has been on Met How at Home's mind, but really it is because Jamie's Place applied for a Game Changer grant. Uh, they have been experiencing a lot of issues with yeah. securing caregivers, and mm -hmm. it relates back to the housing mm -hmm. situation. And so because we worked all together, we've created this whole network that's been spearheaded by Jamie's Place, which has been amazing to try to just create more support for people mm -hmm. as they age here in this valley. And it was called the Senior Assessment for Support and Housing. That was back in 2020, and one of the committees was about aging in place. And so Silverness rose to the top as one of the main recommendations of how yeah. to meet a lot of different needs. Yeah. And it does take a village, you know. So yeah. we're one part of it. With our 235 trained and vetted volunteers, we can provide a lot of different services. And we definitely are working on education all the time and just having all sorts of different conversations with people and working within a network of, of uh, knowing who to refer and when and... It's a lot of volunteers. I know. We have a lot of people who care. And, yeah, that's uh, through cool. Through all the generations, which is really cool, mm -hmm. you know? So we yeah. have volunteers in their 20s and in their 90s yeah. <laughs> doing all sorts of different things. Yeah. I always think the elders have something to contribute. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's a huge part of yeah. Medhow at Home, too. Cool. Remember, to find out more about Silver Nest and Meadow at Home, is the video conference Wednesday, February 8th, 9 a.m. Go to the webpage meadowathome.clubexpress.com and check out the upcoming events. Again, Wednesday, February 8th at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm.